let's take this, I'm going to move it by first rotating it in this direction and then I have to decide how high do I want this component to be. It is supposed to come into the building and then attached to the top of the water heater. I have no idea how high the water heater is. Let's say the water heater is two feet tall. So let's take this component and I'm going to move it upwards on the blue axis. Let's make it 24 inches. So it's two feet high. Now right now I'd like to do some things but you can see the background is kind of bluish. That's because I am actually looking through my exterior wall object. I need to get rid of that for now because it's going to interfere with everything. If I if I click on something, I'm actually clicking on the wall, not on not on my com component. So I'm going to make the architectural layer invisible so I'll have something to work with. This component then, I want to stretch it out. And so I'll use the scale tool, scale just along this axis here, and I want to scale it until it reaches there, the end of that pipe. And so now I have it exactly the right length. I need another one, so I'll make a copy and put it here, and this copy I need to rotate, and then it needs to be aligned with this cold water pipe. So I can move it and constrain my movement to the red axis and then align it to that pipe down here like that. Now I want to align it in this axis, the green axis, to that pipe. And so I have to find one of the edges perhaps well, let's move it out a little ways, or its center. There we are. Sorry. Lock it onto the green axis, and then register it to the center of this pipe. There we are. So, centered one way go to the edge, lock it to the red axis, to there, and now this pipe is abutted against the other pipe. I'm going to move it in a little ways on the red axis only and then to the halfway mark here. So now if we look at this joint, you can see that it makes a pretty reasonable looking representation of two pipes that are attached to one another. Strictly what I should do is put a T in here, but I really don't feel like building those right now. I could put in a T component, but I won't. Okay, so it looks like I have a riser also, so I need to put in a riser. I'll take this same pipe make a copy of it, rotate it in this axis. I want to move it there. There we are. Let's see. Yes, so it's now matched up against the representation on the floor plan. Matched up over here and then I can raise it up constrained to the blue axis until it's say halfway into there and so now I have a riser stub that goes into the sink or rather will supply the, the faucet on the sink next I need to have this pipe extend to the edge of that and so we can use our scale tool and find the end there and register it to that end. And I need to have this stub here for the 
for the toilet. Okay, this pipe is like way too high. Perhaps that was a mistake. Just take my three pipes. This, 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 as you'll recall, it's a 24 inches and I'm going to bring it down on the blue axis maybe 18 inches. 18 inches. That's 6 inches above the ground. I like that. And we'll deal with the feed into the into the uh, water heater later on. Okay. And so, now I have my full complement of cold water pipes in 3D. And I need to have a set of hot water pipes in 3D. So what I'll do is change my point of view. I'm going to use the move tool, control to copy, constrain to the blue axis, and I'm going to have it go up say three inches. There. because these have to live within the confines of our of our wall and so it's better for them to be stacked on top of each other except of course that this and this do need to be moved in this direction let's say uh, three inches constrained to red three inches there we are This has to be rescaled accordingly. And this one is not being supplied from the outside, is actually being supplied solely from the water heater, which I haven't yet drawn. And so this needs to be rescaled like that to reflect that origin. Okay, just for the sake of appearances, I am going to rescale this to there. So, now we have our hot and cold water risers and so on. And this riser I don't actually have to have offset in. excuse me. This pipe over here is a hot water pipe which I don't need for the toilet. This is okay. This one and this one are for the shower and I need them to be a little bit different. Let's see, we'll take this here and I'm going to move it along the red axis three inches. This one I will extend out here. And so they will be parallel to one another. have this scaled to that level. So I have my risers and stubs for the hot and cold except I do need to select everything that's going to be part of the hot water system and I need to change it from plumbing cold to plumbing hot. So let's see what that looks like under our layers plumbing cold hide the plumbing cold that works out okay hide plumbing hot 
That seems to work okay. Hide all the plumbing. There it is. That's exactly what I wanted. And for the sake of neatness, I'm going to resize that so these two stub out at the same level. And so now we have our very simple hot and cold water in the walls. Let's see what it looks like inside the walls. So I turn the architectural layer back on. So you can see, looking down this wall, that these pipes, in fact, live within the confines of the wall exactly as I'd wanted. Looking down this wall, the same thing. Ran the same over here. We look at it from the top. Then there they are. 